Good morning, good morning, friends. What is going on with my hair? What is happening? It's hard to look at both. My camera's right here. My monitor's over here. There we go. That's not as bad. I'm at that weird stage of like, I either need to get a haircut that I don't want to pay for because I'm cheap. <laughs> Or uh, I, I just have to, to commit and let it grow again and have this weird time of what the fuck does my hair look like. Oh, man. Yeah, good morning, friends. I hope you guys are doing well. I, uh, I stayed up too late editing something like I always do because I'm a dork and now I'm sleepy finally happy with something i haven't been doing in a while what um what are you happy with big gun tell me about it dude tell me about this good stuff you know what we're gonna add something to the title cool now we got a longer name Streaming since work has been nuts lately, and now it's starting to get. Now it's starting to work better, is all. Is work. Uh, work's getting better for you? Like it's calming down a little bit? I hope it is, because you work a lot, man. Alright, y'all. We are playing a game today called Horror Tales The Wine. Uh, explore a post-pandemic fictional Mediterranean island and confront your fears. Immerse yourself in a seemingly abandoned city and struggle to find a precious bande de soc. I don't know how to pronounce wine names. Red wine bottle to, to cure your loved one. But be aware, your nemesis is watching you. Should get nice and spooky hey thunderbringer good morning how are you hope you're doing good this morning it's calming down hours changed and everything but now i saw something on social media where the job jobs will ask you ask to verify if you're vaccinated if you don't you're fired good that's how it should be Unless you can't get it for a medical reason. But if you're just choosing not to do it, uh, yeah. <laughs> get your fucking shot. It's free. Literally free. This is, Free healthcare in America is unfucking heard of. You have it. Use it. I'm doing okay, Thunderbringer. I'm a little tired. Uh, but that's my own fault, because I stayed up too late editing a clip from yesterday's stream um, for social media posts and to enter into a clip contest uh, to try to win a, uh, a pretty sick monitor. Uh, I've been wanting to replace my monitors for over a year. Well, probably not over a year. When did I buy my PC? Since I bought my PC last year. I've been wanting to replace my monitors because I have old monitors that are both the monitors on my main computer, 1920 by 1080. They're like the lowest refresh rate you can get. Um, but they were cheap at the time and I've had them since I was like 19, 20, maybe a little older than that, maybe 21 at the oldest. Um, let's see. I bought them when I worked at Best Buy. I worked from at Best Buy from 2013 to 2016. So somewhere in that range, it probably probably 2013 is when I bought these things. So I've had them for a while. Uh, so I've been wanting to replace it, and then I saw this, and I was like, oh well, why don't I just enter a contest with a very well edited clip? And try to win one before I, you know, shell out the money. 
Because if I don't have to buy one, then I can upgrade my camera or something instead. Or just not spend money. <laughs> and be an adult and save my money for once. But where's the fun in that? We want cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right, y'all. Let's uh, let's get this game here a going, shall we? Was being an adult and saving money? I don't know anything about that, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't either. I got paid the other day, and literally the first thing I did was like, I'm going to get food. <laughs> and then I was like, ooh, I could buy a game. Right, I'm going to turn down the volume just a little bit in the game for now. If we need to turn it up, we will. My nose made a weird sound. I don't like it. Subtitles are on text. I'm trying to see if I can turn up the brightness just a little bit because it always gets darker whenever. Uh, whenever it's on stream. Oh, this is sweet. All right. So I'm in the uh, the accessibility settings where I can turn up like the gamma. I don't know why the invert X and Y and stuff are in accessibility, but they're in here. You can disable flashing lights. So if you have problems with um, flashing lights causing causing seizures or anything like that, you can turn those off. That's sweet. I like that a lot. I, I like that a lot. That should be in like every video game. All righty. We got to do a new game. A pandemic which causes strong fevers, terrible delirium, and death has relentlessly decimated the inhabitants of the Arch Archipelago. Rumor has it that a prestigious red wine produced in the capital can cure the sick. I don't, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think that's how that works. Uh, let's see. You are Marty Vermalio. In a desperate attempt to cure the infection of your loved ones, you steal a boat and head to the winery where the red wine is made somewhere in the capital. If you find just one unopened bottle of red wine, it will be enough. On reaching the island, you decide to go to the winery owner's estate to try your luck there. The Bandy... The Bendebusk family estate is close and has a dock. A cold smell of death, calm, and silence comes over your body when you arrive at the dock. They sealed off the infected families in their own homes without food or water, but even then the quarantine didn't work. There was no one left, so it seems. Bum bum bum. Definitely spooky. Definitely haunted. Or something. Not sure if haunted is the right word, but it's definitely not good. I was in the wrong channel, that's why. All right. I will say this game looks pretty. Oh, wait, does that say sail home? Yep, let's just leave. <laughs> We're done. It's too spooky. No, it's broken. This was what we needed. I mean, you could probably, like, find a way to scoop some of that up. Warning. Access to canals partially restricted. Due to the public known situation. 
Uh, let's see. Due to the publicly known situation in connection with the so-called devil's fevers, we inform that certain canals and underground passages are closed until further notice. Anyone who attempts to forcibly open these exce- uh, excesses will be punished to the fullest extent of the law. The remaining open canals are available for use provided that lockdown curfews are observed. All right. Can we go up here? Oh, we can go multiple directions. Oh, that's too many choices. I don't like choices. I know of horror games. Have you uh, thought of getting Visage? Visage? Um, I don't know. I've watched a lot of people play it, so I don't know if, like, I'm at a point where it would still be fun. Because I watched a lot of people play that last year. Nope. Open. This one has a cork. Let's, all right, let's go. Oh, who put the cork? Who's who puts the cork in an empty bottle of wine? What the hell, man? Um, I mean, if people wanted to see me play it, I would definitely consider it. Oh wow, we get worn out very easily. Yeah, like if people are interested in that, um, it might it'd be a cool one to add to the list, maybe for Halloween time. All access routes are blocked. Use of Passage de Ronda uh, for unnecessary travel is strictly prohibited except for local residents until the cause of devil's fever is unknown. All citizens must comply with these measures in this section uh, except for members of honorable Benibasalk family and workers employed in their state. Okay. How much wine have you had in PI? Dude, so much wine. You know me, big wine drinker. Biggest wine drinker there is. I'm hoisted right now. It's probably poison, so not much, I hope. I mean, wine is a poison. Alcohol is technically a poison, so you're always getting poison. I'm hoisted right now. Just so hoisted. At 9 a.m., uh, how do I crouch? Of course, it's control. Can I remap that? Does F do anything? If not, we're making it F. All right, F doesn't do anything. That's now our crouch button. This game looks really nice. It looks beautiful. It was made in Unreal. It looks really good. All right, uh, which way do y'all think? I don't like the stamina. That makes me so scared. <laughs> that makes me terrified that we're going to get tired running away from something and die. That explains a lot. Oh, yeah, that was made in Unreal. Yeah, dude, it looks great. I don't really know which way to go. Both ways look equally spooky. Eh? Oh, this might be our answer. Warning, access to canals completely closed. Probably could have put that, you know, farther outside city, but you know. It's like whenever you get halfway down a road and then it tells you it's closed and you got to go back. And it's like, well, motherfuck. Stamina? Yeah, it looks like we have stamina for running, which... It, it, it's fine, like, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just like, oh no, I'm gonna be running away from a scary monster, and then I'm gonna get exhausted halfway through and just be like, well, this is it! <laughs> Due to the notorious situation caused by the devil's fevers, use of the canals and public tunnels is strictly prohibited. Passing through any interior public space is prohibited under penalty of death. Holy shit. If passed through one of these spaces is necessary for you to reach your residence, request a passage permit at any military headquarters. Reminder, free movement in any public place is strictly prohibited during the first four days of the week and is limited to necessary activities related to health or work. Man, that probably would have, you know, helped us a lot if we did it that way, but, you know. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Did that guy shoot me?
God, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Whew. All right, we should get a gun. That guy has a gun. We should have a gun. That seems fair. All right. Rewards for the killing of any... I'm sorry, what? This escalated. Bounty offered to any citizens who hunt down members of the Banded de Sauk family. Uh, the reward will be doubled for children and triple if the dishonorable Mr. Banded de Sauk is captured alive. I don't know how to say their name. I'm going to say it different every time, probably. I think he shot a bottle of red. It might be. They should preferably be killed with a weapon which does not cause them to bleed, but if a rifle is necessary, avoid shooting the head or arteries which may cause pools of blood to form. We remind you that leaving's, leaving one's resident during quarantine hours is still prohibited. <laughs> Excuse me. And everyone must take extreme precautions to combat the devil's fevers. We all know what the band-aid band up socks did. But that does not mean the rest of us as citizens have a free pass to ignore quarantine just to hunt them down. Um, what? So did they cause this? And now, like, the whole island was just like, yeah, I'm just going to murder him? I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So essentially, we're on an island uh, post-pandemic of some kind. So I'm guessing that they caused this outbreak? Oh, that guy was... That guy's so spooky, dude. Oh, I can't shut the door behind me. Don't like that. Strange fever extends beyond the slums. How topical, lol. I, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, why can't we let them bleed? I'm sure it'll get explained, hopefully. Uh, the first cases of widespread fevers have extended beyond the slums, reaching the other side. No, we came from, like, a poorer area or a different island. And it's believed that the their red wine, the uh, Bandeb Sock... Baneb sock? I don't know how to say that fucking word. I'm going to put it in Google and see if Google tells me. Oh, no! I can't tab out of the game. I can type in the game, though. Pronounce. Banny. I'm trying to make sure I spell it right. Oh, Google can't pronounce it. Probably because it's a name. Nope. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's see. So yeah, we came from a different island to find a bottle of this wine that is believed to be able to cure our sick loved ones. So we're the goal is to find an unopened bottle of wine. But now thinking about it, if this family has possibly caused whatever this is, maybe that wine, because it's red, is actually their blood, and their blood contains the cure or an antibody of some kind, maybe? I don't know. Uh, the first cases of widespread fevers have extended beyond the slums, reaching the other side of the river toward areas where wealthier citizens live. For the moment, there's no reason to pay much attention to these fevers. Although at this time of year, it is strange to have so many cases of flu. Authorities are telling the public not to be alarmed. Boy, that's familiar. In an unusual press conference with the Honorable Mr. Bandipsock, uh, the mayor gave his approval of wine production to continue. 
Even so, according to information this newspaper has obtained, if cases of fevers continue to rise at the current rate, the entire slums district where the vast majority of immigrants live will be closed off in confinement to stop further spread of the fevers. Immigration and diseases, problems and solutions. Give me that knife. I want to stab this dude with a gun. I want to stab the guy that has a gun. Or shoot him, but I don't have a gun, so. Hitting those deja vu vibes. Yeah, for real, though. All right, so this is just the attic. Oh, this is how we get in the other room. Okay. Little knapsack. Woo! The hell was that? Okay, we're on the other side of that now. I'm sneaking, and I'm sneaking. Game? It was a very odd time for it to tell me to use the space bar to jump as I'm looking over the edge of a cliff. <laughs> it's like, well, this island's haunted as shit. You should probably just jump off. I would like to take that with me as a weapon. Brendan looks like a nice vacation spot. This actually does look like it would be a pretty sick place. Other than, you know... The... The, uh, the pandemic that's currently happening on it. Well, that went poorly. Uh, I'm gonna guess we have to make our way around this and and take that off and continue that forward. Yes, you could probably grab that if if you tried. Character, look at that rat. Hello, rat. Please don't be mean to me. Uh, okay. Another broken bottle of wine. There are so many broken bottles of wine. Also, probably would be good to maybe take these with you as weapons. Uh, I don't think I want to drop down just to read that, do we? Hope we can get back up. To Jean and other hired workers, your salaries will be reduced by one half for the next two months. Uh, the Honorable Mr. Benetzalk has informed me of the following complaints regarding your poor building work on the structure and access to the private cellar. Sloppy construction of wooden structures for the tunnels. Uh, stones for exterior opening placed in a very haphazard manner. Floor damaged in storage chamber. Entrance door to staff housing fallen off the hinges. Extensive scratching on walls of areas where laborers are working. All right. Well, yeah, definitely uh, let me continue to care about my work. All right. Well, we have clearly made a mistake. I hope this is what I'm supposed to do. It looks like it is. Aw, oh, dude, I don't want to go in there. Yeah! Oh, I can't throw anything. 
You go in there with it and you're gonna like it. What's up, Jan? Good morning. How are you? How do I use my flashlight? Do I have flashlight? Yet? I mean, we may not have it yet. Okay, I don't have it yet. Well, that stinks. Do you know? I don't want to go in here. All right, leaf and a corkscrew. I hope I'm not supposed to remember what that other one was. Well, that looks... That looks terrible. Bottle, grapes. That's what I think it was grapes. It was a bottle and something else that I would assume is grapes. Fuck me. I knew that was going to happen. I knew some shit like that was going to happen, and it still scared me. I'm so jumpy today for some reason. I think this game tricks me. It's very light and pretty in a lot of places, so I'm like, oh, it can't be that scary. Uh, and, you know, it is. <laughs> I guess this is where I go. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, take that, rich people. I'll break your rich people house. <laughs> this is way more satisfying than it should be. We can go through these nice, terrifying caves. Alright, so this side led to nothing. The <laughs> well, fuck. Is that what's happening? I guess you're right. I thought it was the stamina not coming back. Damn it, how did I get up there before? Yeah, we probably need one of those boxes right here. Well, that was a good idea in theory. I was going to try to build a, a ramp. I think it was, I think the stamina goofed because I was like jumping around all over the place. Ow, I threw that on my face. <laughs> yeah, fuck. 
Maybe we can make a ramp out of these. I had it! God damn it. I'm going to get the other board. Maybe we'll figure something out and not have to, like, reset the game. The real horror was the horror you made for yourself. Yeah, apparently. I can't. Oh, hey! <laughs> Maybe it's dropping this fucking hole. What? Why did I just fall in this? That hasn't been there the whole time. There's no way. Oh, I think I broke my leg. Maybe, yeah. Like, maybe one of the bottom of the boards, like, smacked it and opened it. That makes sense. I'm on... You know what? I'm on board with that. Uh, important announcement. As if it were not difficult enough to work <laughs> for this family. Now you've become paranoid... Now they've become paranoid because of everything with the fever, and they've ordered us to install these strange metallic doors. They're simple to operate. To use these doors, push hard on the lever on the wall... The lever is stiff, so you have to use some force. The door will shut automatically in a few hours. Yeah, so. If I crouch, nothing bad happens. Bro, why do you want these in your home? Who lives in a place like this? I guess I'm just not rich enough to understand it. I wish I would have turned off the flashing lights now. Uh, I do want to say, too, I saw... Oh, good, blinking lights. Yeah, I saw in the accessibility settings, actually, that you can turn those off. Uh, and I really like that. Oh, hey, Carlos, what's up, man? You can trust me? I don't think I trust that. I don't trust that at all. <laughs> oh, man. Carlos, thank you for the game key again, man. I appreciate it. Uh, this game looks very pretty. It's also very scary so far. It's, it's deceiving. I was talking about this a few minutes ago. The world is bright. So it's like nothing scary happens in bright areas, right? And then, you know, well, that's obviously not true. But yeah, I saw um, uh, in the accessibility settings where you can turn off the blinking lights. Carlos, thank you for doing that. That's sweet. That's awesome. Like, I, I know people um, can have seizures triggered by flashing lights and um, things like that. So, 
having that as an option for people to still be able to play your game is awesome. We need more accessibility in video games is what I'm saying. I'm going to look at the ground. Less scary stuff happens on the ground, right? Those kind of triggers suck. We need more accessibility. For sure. Carlos, game developers and game devs seem sus. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that's a target. Hey! Oh, that's a different area. <laughs> I thought we were on top of that area from before. Maybe we still are. All right, can't go that way. Use the photo mode. If you want to see my pants. Oh, finish the game to unlock photo mode. I saw where I could turn that on. I thought it would just be on. You know what, we're going to go and try this disabled flashing lights. I want to see how it works. Where do I see pants? Go to the wall with the woods at the end of the hallway. Uh, I want to go down. Can I go down? Or do I have to, like, look down and go down? Ooh. Secrets. Oh, how do I grab it? Oh, is it just open? Whoa. If something scary happens, I'm going to be mad at you. Is cat in the poop pants? All you need is love and a cat. Is that your uh, your teammate that helped you develop the game? I'm going to guess we have to drop down here. Nina. Oh, Nina. We love kitty cats here. Oh, that hurt. I have two cats, Penny and Loki. And uh, we have emotes. We have an emote for them in chat. I know, right? I was like, this is a really cool way to do hidden stuff. Yeah, the Penny and Loki heart. We've put that on shirts. We did uh, a pride version of all of those as well uh, during the month of uh, of June, and all the proceeds went to a uh, a nonprofit that helps uh, LGBT teens with suicide prevention. That emote's done a lot <laughs> for being such a small little picture, you know. I love it. I don't want to drop down. It's a good emote. It is a good emote. List the Potato made that for me, I think, years ago at this point. Like, it has been years ago she made that for me. Uh-oh. Okay, I see how it works. Don't worry, everything's good. I, I'm just bad at puzzles. Oh, I passed it. I think that's right. Wrong code. Well, shit. Do another clue at the end of the hallway. It is safe. The end of this hallway? Ah! I'm going to sneak everywhere anyway. Oh, that hurts me. This is why I sneak everywhere. That guy hit me. That was fucking mean. 
pitcher. Other thing. Uh. Uh. Is that a blood ocean? Okay. Blood, wine, it's really the same. See, that's what I was saying earlier. I was like, they're saying this wine is what heals people. I think it's this family's blood. I think that's right. I already forgot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Shit. <laughs> Isn't that quite the right color? No. Can I change these top things? Because it was blood. Okay, I was wondering if we had to go forward. Oh, God, I thought I was going into the blood. Or wine, or whatever. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ow. He up! <laughs> oh, God! I started to lose my bridge. I drowned in the blood ocean. Shit! I made it. I'm not very good at platforming. Okay, so we have... I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a picture of it. That way I can... I never question myself. AMPI, how's the game? Hey, Chili. It's uh, it's good so far. We're like only a few minutes into it. Uh, yo, what? 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 Okay, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool little jump back. I like that. Uh, yeah, so we're not very far into it. Um, so I can't really say like for sure that I love it. But so far, it's fun. It also looks very pretty. All right, we're going to look at that picture I just took real quick. All right, wine glass, bottle, leaf corkscrew. I think this is, yeah, this has got to be it. Man, those doors are crazy. I like that light. First sea of wine cleared. So there's multiple of those. I am bad at platforming, so that's going to be fun to watch. I'm just bad at a lot of stuff, apparently. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> I'm bad at platforming. I'm bad at puzzles. I should just play shooter games forever. Because I'm at least mediocre at those. That's so dark. I don't like it. Where, uh, it's dark. I don't like it. Told you it was wine man over here thinking his blood. Shoot. <laughs> You're bad at things that are common in a lot of video games. Hey. That was hurtful. I don't say mean stuff to you. I don't know if we need that or not, but let's drop it down there. You said it yourself? Yeah, I can say mean things about myself. You can't. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, so we probably need something to weigh that side down. 
Or we just have to book it and see what happens? Can I get back up if I fall? Okay, yeah, there's stairs over there. <laughs> oh, I bet this will do it. It may not be enough. We might need more than one. All right, well, it gets us closer at least. Any other bricks down here? Hey, yo, there's a brick. There we go. Platforming puzzle stealth. It also doesn't help that I'm streaming while I do it. Oh no, we were doing so well. We were gonna make it. It was right there. I don't know what that voice was. It was weird though. Can you yeet the brick by letting go as you move your mouse really fast? Here, you wanna find out real quick? Yeah. Hiya. You kind of can. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that went towards my face. Ha! Well, great. Now I lost my brick. The developer of this is clearly a troll. <laughs> clearly. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. We probably need this other brick. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I worked so hard for that! Oh, fuck, I ran out of stamina. Can you imagine running to jump for something like that and then halfway through it just being like, oh, God, no, I'm tired. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's try that again in, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> That's me. I'm, I am that out of shape. I would do that. I am, I am pathetic. Suggested rotations. Oh, okay. It wants me to rotate that photo that I just took. Calm down, Google Photos. I know you do some cool, fancy stuff, but, like, chill. That we actually deserve. <laughs> Carlo! <laughs> uh, all right, we building a bridge. I'm guessing. Clue. Uh, do I have to build a bridge? That's where we came from. That's where we need to go. I feel like I just watched something pop up on my monitor over here. It looked like just like a black box, and now I'm afraid this monitor is going to die any second. Because, you know, try putting the bricks somewhere else. Mm. Let's maybe put the bricks back here so that we can go upwards. All right, you, you, you stay right there. That's where you live now. Uh, chill. Carlos is the developer of this game. Right, Carlos? I, I think you said that earlier, right? You're the solo developer? Like, you're the only one? 
There's another Easter egg in the next hallway if you follow the rat. Okay. The scary one? Wait, the rat. That rat? Is there other rats? Ha -da -da! Developed with the support of my cats. Nina and Noose. That's so cute. That's awesome. Go kitty cats. Carlos, I would like to have a word. <laughs> Chill. You're silly. That's funny. Oh, that rat? I am a photo mode. Photo mode. Hmm. Oh, without photo mode. Oh, did I just ruin a jump scare? I'm not going to lie to you, though. This actually looks like a pretty sick picture. I thought that's what I'd have to do. All right, look. Look, Jan. Is that not something that we had to do before? Is that not the first thing I had to do to get the first, the first hidden thing? Is it not? Thank you very much with your sass. Uh-uh. Get out of here with that. All right. Uh, <laughs> trolled myself. Played yourself. <laughs> All right. Well, while we're here, let's take a cool picture. We're already here. We already know that the scary is going to happen. I might as well take a cool picture. Alright, I'm just kind of goofing with this stuff to see what all it does. Alright, I see that. Let's put that back to 100. Let's put that normal. Ooh, that's spooky. Eh, I don't want any of the grain. Yo, the fringe looks sick, though. Oh, look at this. Man, how cool would this be if I could control this without this in there? Oh, I bet I could put it in just, like, a, in one of my editing softwares and do it, though. This, like, with the background moving a little bit. Oh, that looks so cool. I like that rainy, but I also like it with nothing. All right, this is the rest of the stream, guys. We're going to we're going to spend the rest of the day taking pictures. Oh, um Carlos, will this take shot? Will this just save in a folder or do I need to just like print screen and save it myself? Well, that sounds like it just took a photo. Uh, it, what happens if I click out? Everything's fine, baby! Spend a lot of time in photo mode. I can't even complain. I don't spend enough time in photo mode. Uh, take shot saves it in app data local horror one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't take enough photos in photo mode is my problem. I need to do that way more. Okay, let's see. I just want to find it, make sure I have it. Where the hell is that? 
app data, local, horror wine, saved screenshots. I'm going to assume it's on whatever drive it's on. Is that the right drive? I literally forgot the name of this drive. That was the right one. Connor. Do do. Hmm. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Why is that not searching how I want though? Uh, oh, here it was. This is the one. That... I think that's what we like, the cross process. But let's look through them all anyway. Yeah, I like that one a lot. But we can probably goof with it some and make it even cooler. Yeah, pump that saturation just a little bit. Get that green moss. Uh, too much gamma. We don't want to do that. I don't want to do too much gain. I want to keep it kind of dark. Get a little bit more contrasty there. That looks good. Is there are donuts left over. The one I had was so fucking good. What kind of donut was it? Dude, I haven't had a donut in a long time. Actually, you know what? I don't like that as much. Yeah, we're making a promo poster for the game. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Downloadable wallpaper. Thanks for the poster. <laughs> don't worry. Don't don't worry. My invoice is in the mail. <laughs> if I ever find these damn photos, I'll absolutely send them to you. Look at that lens flare! Well, let's make it look like he has a head. Alright, that one was just a goof. Steam background artwork. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. If I ever find them, because I can't seem to find the folder, it's probably because I'm stupid. Oh, access to this folder was denied. Bitch, I own this computer. This is mine. I am the admin.
Look at me. I am the admin now. Window, no. Why can't I find this? I feel like it should be right in front of my face. All right, I might have to have you send me the file path again later. I can just, uh, I can DM you, though. Oh, wait, let's look this one last place. Gotta love meetings in the morning where the only thing we talk about is attendance for the team. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a great start to the day. Right? Like, hey, uh, you guys have to come to work. I'm in a meeting with you at work about work. Yeah, but we need you to uh, make sure you come to work. Okay, thanks. Super glad I was here for this. This could have been an email. All but three of you are work from home. <laughs> they didn't show up to my house today. <laughs> right. I goddamn live here. All right. Yeah, I'm too I'm I'm too deep into this. I'll come back to it later. We took the screenshots. We should know that we're going to get them. That's all that that's all that matters. So we want to follow this rat, I'm assuming, because I don't see another one. All right. Do we do we reverse engineer the scare again? Even because I know it's going to be there. It's not as scary then. It's not as funny. Right. Or do we do it again? They were like, oh, we're all going to be returning to the office on the 13th. But then, like, there are a few people on the team that still don't have their vax. So, like, no. Those mid-level managers could have had their meetings somewhere somehow. Oh, fuck you! I thought he'd already be there. Can I follow him? Or do I have to photo mode through this wall? Because you said not in photo mode. But how do I follow him? Or is or are you just trying to bait me into the jump scare? Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. He's still chasing me. Oh, fuck. You went that way. I can't run. <laughs> eh. Eh. Eat my dust. Oh, it shocked me. <laughs> Bunny hop away. <laughs> hey, Rab. Hey, Darzog. Yeah, dude. You right, man. Okay, wait. That was legit. Yeah. That was pretty cool. If I didn't <laughs> if I didn't go forward in photo mode, that would have scared the shit out of me, dude. I would have been done. <laughs> Rav, thank you for the 38 month resub, dude. 
38 months. That's so freaking long. How are you doing this morning, dude? How was your meeting? Darzog, how are you, my friend? That's the guy's coat. That's his coat. If we take it, he'll freeze to death. And then he can't attack us anymore. Even though he'd probably sure already be dead because he doesn't have a head. I... You know what? We can do it with this, actually. I wish I had a little bit more control of the speed that this moves at. But, I mean, I could also just slow it in editing. All right. Apparently, now I'm just trying to make trailers for games on stream. Sorry, guys. I got too deep into the photo mode. <laughs> Hey, Rab, uh, it's pretty good so far. Uh, the developer uh, is a little bit of a troll, but it's all in good fun. Looks period appropriate in the photo mode. Makes it look like Saturday night in the dark-ass motel just on this trip of the 90s. Yeah, right? Like, let's compare this. Because I the photo mode setting safe, so that's kind of cool. Like, look how pretty this is. It's beautiful out here. Now it's terrifying. Not any more than the rest of chat. Yeah, that's true. So there is a photo mode. Yeah. Uh, so the photo mode, the first time I used it, he, uh, Carlos is the, the, is the developer of this game. He's the only developer other than his kitty cats, um, as we were talking about a little bit ago. Um, he said, go use photo mode and go through that wall. And then we found a picture of his cat in his pants. Um, and then he was like, yeah, there's another secret if you follow this rat up here. So I was like, oh, I have to do photo mode again. And I photo mode around a wall. Uh, and there is the the villain, I guess you could call it, jump scare. Like, the bodies there waiting to be triggered for the animation. And uh, I totally ruined that jump scare. And then I, and then I spent, like, 20 minutes taking pictures. And we took a couple of really cool photos. <laughs> now I just have to find them in my folders. Uh, maybe clean them up a little bit in in an editing software or something. All right, can I jump up on this thing? Jump on it. Nope. Oh, it goes the other way. So, my guess is we need to get it going, run up these stairs, drop on it, and then jump on that and go up those stairs. The payload. So, what is the too long didn't read of this game? Alright, so here's what I know so far, Rab. Oh, it's not moving. Um, there's a pandemic of some sort going on. Uh, a lot of people are sick and dead. We went to an island where if you find... The, supposedly, if you find a bottle of wine... Ah! No! Uh, if you find this bottle of wine, it can cure your sick loved ones. Um... So, now we have to try to find that. Like, that, that's the, the general, like, goal of your character. Um, but it says, like, you, th you think the island is empty or something along those lines. And uh, clearly it is not. Because there's either a demon, a, a, a ghost, something here. 
that is uh What are you doing? Wicka made it. I don't know why, but I know this works. What 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 are you doing? What's wrong? What is not working properly? Oh, it's not letting you post a clip? Wait, what? Yeah, for me, it's just showing me three asterisks. Uh, put it in the, the Discord. Um, I have a clips channel in my Discord if you want to put it there. And then I can uh, I can pull it up and we can see it. Yeah, we'll just do that. I'll pull it up real quick so we can see it. Uh, here, let me minimize this. Bonk. Badonk. All right, I'm going to try to uh, to paste it in chat. It works. It worked. I need to see if that's like an auto mod setting or something. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We have fun here. Uh we we don't get through a lot of games, <laughs> but we have fun. One for the promo highlight reel, for sure. Whoa! Oh shit. Now we're in a fucking maze. Doesn't look like it was auto mod. I didn't think so. I don't think I really have any auto mod for links. We just like delete them if they shouldn't be there. Now nah, it's just Twitch being a butthead. Okay. Hey, oh, fuck you. I'm going to do that around like every corner trying to not get scared myself. Oh, I found the middle. There's a lot of rats coming to the middle. That's probably not a good thing. It happens to me on other streams sometimes. Gotcha. That sucks. Twitch, why are you being a goof? Nope, I was hoping I could cheat. I can't. Gata! Okay, we've seen this. Just just hop over. But <laughs> just the air around the corner. That's what I do. Uh you probably didn't see it yesterday, but we uh we reverse engineered a jump scare. I think this just loops. Does it? No, but that's clearly a dead end, so we're not going that way. Oh, dude, I am not good at mazes. I'm so lost. Ha! Ah! I found a gate! Shit! <laughs> it's locked. Just gonna sneak past these windows. Just gonna sneak past these windows. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. You can't see me. I am sneaky. I'm a burglar. Gonna rob your house. Ow! Haha! -ha! I am the open all of the things burglar. I never take anything. Oh, that's a gun cabinet that's empty. That's not good. But I open everything in your house. Take that, dummies. Uh, 
I wonder why this guy on this island is trying to kill me. Definitely not because I open everything in his house and then call him a dummy. That couldn't possibly be it. Let's turn into Resident Evil 7. Ooh. Deep cut. I don't think the bakers had a, a wine... Uh, Goliath of a business. Alright, we're outside. I like outside. Notice to anyone found helping members... Now it would have been shells of food. Yeah, just a bunch of moonshine. Probably a little bit of meth, let's be real. Okay, Carlos, if you're still hanging out, how far away am I from pronouncing this name correctly? Notice to anyone found helping members of the Benepsok Benepsk family. I can't fucking say the name. It's a flea. Any and all who are found helping members of the family of their, or their employees will be placed in quarantine in a cell for five months. That's not quarantine. That, that, that sounds like prison if you're in a cell. Uh, we urge all not to accept bribes from members of the family since they have all been infected with the devil's fevers uh, and constitute a serious health danger. All tunnels and underground accesses to the winery, private cellars, and the farmhouse have been sealed off and are monitored by authorities. Any family member by the last name... Benipsok, uh, found by the authorities outside their mansion, will first have their belongings confiscated and burned, then escorted back to the mansion. <laughs> Dang, dude. Dang, it's just like, hey. Hey. I'm gonna burn your stuff. Then you're going back to your house. I think it's Banny de Bosk. Banny de Bosk. Banny de Bosk. I feel like Joey on Friends when he's trying to learn French. <laughs> like I can say, I can say the syllables individually, but then I try to get all the words together and I can't. It's Italian on Friends or the show or what we're playing or both. I don't remember. I haven't watched Friends in a long time. Just call him the ban the Banny. <laughs> no, the name slash island. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, we are sad to hear uh, the news that little Laya has passed away and the government sends our sincerest condolences. However, the fact that her death from the devil's fevers was kept secret from us for weeks was a despicable act on the part of your family. Therefore, you and your entire family will be forced in con into confinement and definitely without any contact with the outside world until further notice. This breaks my heart, but the situation caused by the devil's fever is spinning out of control. Because of your fine reputation and how dear you all are to everyone on the island, we will give you the privilege of stocking up on supplies one last time. Speak with the four young men we assigned to you about this matter. After this last job, uh, they will no longer be helping you. Could I not have just, like, walked up here earlier? I super could have. Why did I go through all of that? Yeah, Benny de Bosque is how it sounds. It's a hard C at the end from what I can tell. Banny de Boss? Danny... Wait, what? Banny de Bossy? It's a hard C? What? Oh, there's a lot of things to read. All right. We'll start from here, and we'll work our way over. Attention! Due to uncontrolled infections related to the devil's fevers, appearing among your employees as governor, I am forced to confine your entire family and temporarily put a stop to any winemaking activity until further notice, effective immediately. You have been assigned four military guards who will be your link to the outside world and take care of your purchases and other necessary errands. Uh, we hope that little Lia's health improves. Can't handle this weird name. Yeah, dude. My Irish brain grown up in very heavily uh, German area. Yeah, we, we just have names like 
shank. <laughs> like, shank. <laughs> German have brains have any trouble with it? Well, nobody asked you, okay, Rab? You know what? Nobody asked you. I didn't ask for your sake. You, you drive yourself to lunch. But but still meet me there. I still want to have lunch with you. Look at me. I'm Rab. I'm smart. I know space stuff and big words. <laughs> As come to our attention that several of your employees have been infected with what some are calling... The devil's fevers. Y'all better stop sassing me. I'll do what I want. Uh, for your own safety, we recommend that you isolate and dismiss these filthy and irresponsible persons. Uh, and that under no circumstances, you or the members of your family are to leave your mansion. Who knows what sort of low class, class immigrants they have been spending their free time with. Yikes. Additionally, your granddaughter Laya has been noticeably absent from classes from some days now. It's because she she died. Uh, we hope she is well without wanting to cause offense. I remind you that if you or someone in your family is experiencing fever, you should inform the authorities for your own welfare. Um, okay. As you well know, there's a strange fever ravaging the nearby areas that border your mansion. F the Bandit of Song. I can't say their name, but screw those guys. Uh, for your own safety, we urge you to not leave your property at any time until all of this has passed. With this notice, we have no intention of accusing you of anything. It is well known that the fever originated in the poor neighborhood where idle immigrants live in vomit-inducing conditions. I uh, give you my word as governor that when these fevers have passed and everything is cleared up, those vagrant illegals will receive their punishment. Man, I didn't know this game took place in Florida. Or Texas? Oh. They could be the good guys, Kappa. <laughs> A lot of thoughts on what you just said. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, okay. All right, well, I need help remembering these from someone. I don't want to take a picture of every one of them. That seems like it's a little much. Shoot. Told all the vineyards and exploited my great my grand grandparents because uh, to become rich. Oh yeah. Here we just have rich people flying wieners into space. <laughs> America. <laughs> Rewards for killing any of them. Bounty offered to any citizens who hunts down. Oh, did we read this one already? Yeah, we read this one earlier. <laughs> I seen it. All right, we've seen that one. Excuse me. We've been down there. That's where we almost got stuck. Because I'm dumb dumb. Uh, I'm going to unlock this just in case. Oh, it's just locked in general. I thought it was like an un I thought it was a locked from the other side kind of thing. All right. Well, here we go. Back into the spooky house where definitely no spooky stuff is. I'm a big brave dog. I'm a big brave dog. I'm not going down there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to. I think... Oh, no. We can go this way. Shoot. Mother and father are too 
gigantic statues you can see from almost every part of the capital where we live. Mother is at the top of the highest peak on the other side of the bay, and father stands at the place where almost everybody works. The winery. Uh, my father works for them, too, as a servant. No one knows who built these statues, uh, but they let the Bene de Sulks build their winery below father because they were so nice to everyone. Whenever someone here is sad or crying, they usually go up to visit mother. Mother is good. Helps people who come to her feel better. Father is good, too. He helps the, uh, the Bennies and all of us to make the best wine in the whole wide world. I always forget that wine is different in other cultures. And I was like, I don't feel like this child should be drinking wine. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that that's something that's actually completely different. All right, guys, uh, I'm about halfway through the stream, so I am going to take a quick break to stretch my legs and run to the restroom, uh, and then we can see where this bridge takes us to probably scary land. So I'll be back. Oh. I don't think I would want this between our houses here's physically hurting you and not no it's not physically hurting me it's just like it it's like sitting very wrong and i can't figure out why so that was definitely wine and grapes there's a lot more of those it's like it's like very poofed on the back i think i might have to put a hat on before I leave later. All right, so that that's what that's for. So now we... Oh, fuck me. We gotta go down to the scary basement. Son of a bitch. I want to go in the scary basement. Don't make me. Game, just tell me the answers. <laughs> These are pretty paintings. Now I feel like I want to use like photo mode to try to break in all these places. Cuz I could I did it one time earlier. <laughs> and now it's stuck with me that like that's that's a core mechanic of this video game when in reality I am sure it is not. All right, so that is leaf and corkscrew. Uh should we go ahead and do that? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I don't forget. You guys Warcraft fans? Like World of Warcraft? Or Warcraft in general? Um. Mother fuck. Can't run. Can't run. I died. Oof. Those dudes suck. What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Um, I... Uh, I played World of Warcraft back in the day. Um, and I liked it, so we shouldn't go... I jumped about three feet. Yeah, I jumped a lot and, and said, fuck. I don't know if I should go this way yet. I'm going to guess not. Wait. There's a photo door in that room. Go back. Wait, what? A photo? Oh! Oh! Jan with the big brain. Big brain. Good job. I didn't even see like that that was the indicator. Good job. Look at that kitty cat. Meow. 
Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, that's cute. Kind of looks like Panty. What greater gift than the love of a cat? All right, well, I'm sold. This game's amazing. All right, so that bridge isn't down yet. Um, whether that means that we're safe to go back in that room without getting murdered, I don't know. But I'm not going to risk it, because I don't really want to be running from that guy forever down here. Unless it's, like, if it spawns down here, that's one thing. But I don't want to, like, make my life harder. I would honestly just play a whole game of go find cat pictures. That feels like it needs to be, like, a mode in a game. <laughs> oh, shit. We're back here. All right, well, that's bricked up now. Um, Can I maybe go farther this way? No, not really. Um, okay. What? I feel like I'm missing stuff. Because there's one, two, three. I've only found four of these, I think. Leaf and corkscrew. Right? Am I am I am I wrong? There were two on, on your way when you first started the game. Fuck me. All right, well we have leaf and corkscrew. Let's do the ones that we know. Um Oh, shoot. I need to go back down this way. I wanted to go back out here. Yeah, because I know there's one down here. Wine and grapes. I guess I'm just going to take a picture of these because I'm not going to remember them. Wine and grapes. Leaf and corkscrew. There's another one down here. I got to hop off a bit uh, to this client call. Hopefully it's short. If not, I'll see you here in a bit. Have a good rest of the stream. All right, dude. Good luck on your client call. I hope it is not a long one. I hope it is not crappy. Um... I will see you later. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. Thank you again for the 38-month resub. That's so many months. Okay, so that's... Including the leaf and the corkscrew, that's three. Oh, there's another one up there that we missed. I Okay. All right, I got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Other than, you know, the headless trench coat man trying to kill us, which I'm not sure how we're going to get away from that. Because the door, like, gets covered up. So is that just like a run the fuck away and hope we get away? Oh, I, I like, and I don't like <laughs> that. Okay. So let's start here. Wine glass, 
was let me pull up my photos wine glass was uh nope wine glass is grapes this thing is bottle the decanter is bottle leaf and corkscrew Grapes. We did it! Out from his own game this time. Why is it so freaking dark? Oh, so blinking lights is going to be nothing then. Okay. I thought they would maybe just, like, stay on. <laughs> the ground under your feet cracks. You fall on the debris and you are knocked unconscious. Slowly, you begin to wake up. It is night now. You remember someone dressed in black who came near you and locked you in the room. You were unsure if it was real or a dream. Your eyes slowly adapt to the light, and you wake up with a terrible headache. Little by little, your vision gets less blurry. Nope, you get nothing! Cats became extinct from the capital centuries ago. Luckily, you can still find photos of cats if you search around. Oh, cute. All right. So that's where we fell. There's the key. Uh, um, a lot of bird cages, so this room probably smells terrible. Oh good, a coffin. What are these paintings on the wall? Do they are they important? I feel like they might be. I don't know. They could also just be like the scribblings of a of like a mad person. Y'all, I was so wrong. This game is way scarier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right, that's blocked. I was tricked. I got bamboozled by all of the pretty colors and the, the light areas outside. I've played too many horror games where I immediately assumed this room was partially upside down because there were pots hanging from the ceiling. No, I'm just stupid. They shot her. Those miserable low life shot my wife from the same barricade they built themselves to keep us in. I was trapped in the kitchen while she was bleeding in the hallway. I heard her as she died trying to get to the dining room. Our son is scared and doesn't want to leave his room. Everyone has abandoned us. All of us who did so much for the capital and its economy hunted like dogs. Everybody blames us now for what's happened with the wine. We've gone from heroes to scapegoats. Now I'll try to move out of the kitchen, go save my son, and run to the dining room, the safest place in the house at the moment. The Banasalk name can't die, but if it does, it'll be on my terms. If they break into the house, they won't catch us alive. The most honorable Miss... I'm going to guess that's supposed to be Mr. Because he said they shot my wife? Band of Sock. Is that what the closed caption said? Because I said Band of Sock. In a tremendously... Ir That's the new name, though. Band of Sock. <laughs> Thanks, closed captions. 
in a tremendously irresponsible outburst after 28 days of quarantine. An indecent mob from the slums attempted to flee by crossing the bridges. They organized during the night, and in the early hours of the morning, an armed mob headed toward the bridges, attempting to cross them. The mob, mainly composed of vagrants and immigrants, showed their colors right away as they arrived at the bridges when they tried to shoot the guards on the other side. Luckily, none of the guards were killed. Fearing that this would happen sooner or later, the authorities were already prepared and opened fire. Damn. Uh, the dead numbered in the hundreds, although none of the guards were killed. Once they saw it was impossible to escape over the bridges... Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, escape over the bridges, many of the rebels jumped from the windows into the river. None survived the drop-off after the waterfall. The authorities fear that because of this mob, even more residents from the slums may have been infected by the devil's fevers... Deaths in the coming weeks are expected to number into the thousands. First executions carried out for those fleeing the slums. Um, we must stay united and stop situations like the one that occurred several weeks ago from continuing. The economy will, the economy will revive when the devil's fevers, as we now call them, are over. This newspaper is appealing to the personal responsibility of each and every one of us. If that means going hungry in confinement, so be it. For the good of all, the alternative is death. If a citizen sees someone escaping from their residence and does not report it, they will be executed. Scenes like the one from yesterday at the bridges cannot be repeated. Individual sacrifice or execution. Damn. We just gonna murder you. Yo, COVID-20 just hit different. God, I don't want to fucking go in here. Oh, I'm grabbing something above me. That's the guy with the gun. The whistling? It was whistling. Yeah. Um, you may not have been here yet, Jan. So there's a guy on this island with a gun. Um, when we first got here, there was, uh, like, canals that I could go in. And I tried to go in one. Uh, and it said, hey, no, you can't go this way. Turn back. So I turned around, and that was the first jump scare of the game. Was him shooting, like, a wine bottle or something? Um, uh, PT vibes. Um, and then he was whistling. Like, he, he walked away later, and he was whistling. So, um... He's a baddie. Hey, yo. Which should be interesting because I'm assuming if he has a gun, he can shoot at us. But we don't have a gun. So, are we just gonna be running from this guy that has a gun and hoping we can hide? What is this house? Like, I understand it's a mansion, but like, bro. Time for some Home Alone antics, baby! <laughs> Yes, just a bunch of like like tacks on the floor and super glue. 
They step on the tacks. They fall back into the super glue, and then we feather them. Cover them in feathers. And then we realize he still has a gun, and he's just going to shoot me. <laughs> now he just has feathers on him when he shoots me. So, like, you know. Superheated door handles, paint cans. Super loud speakers to make it sound like I have a gun. So I'm going to guess this was initially a flashing light. So I bet that area was supposed to be dark. Hook up jumper cables to the sink. That'd be a good one. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to do what I want it to do. Oh, there's still a flashing light. We did turn that. We did that, right? Disable flashing lights is is in is enabled. Uh, so I'm gonna let him know about that in case he in case this should be fixed. Okay. Seems like a double negative. What does? I can't get to that other one, so I'm just gonna try everything. Well, it says disable flashing lights, yes. I just said it in a stupid way, because I'm stupid. I also can't get to this, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know what the next part is. So I just guessed and got it right eventually. Alright, well here, I want to see what happens if I change that. Oh, I want... You know what, I wonder if that doesn't save until you restart the game. No, I still don't have a flashlight. I'm gonna make a note really quick in my in my notebook. Guys, hang on just a second. <laughs> Jan, did that one scare you? No, and the photo mode unlocked when you told it to, so I think it's working. I think it... Okay, yeah, see, that's kind of what I was thinking, too, because, like, I turned on the photo mode, so... I don't know. Either way, I wrote a note, so I will just uh, send them a message and say, hey, this happened. I don't know if it's supposed to. Third door puzzle area. That's how it's intended to be regardless of the accessibility. I mean, that would be not great. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is flashing enough that it would, it could cause an epileptic seizure or anything, but I'm also not a seizure, uh, uh, like a, an expert in that field. You know, I was going to make a joke there, but I didn't think that was a time to make a joke. So I didn't bro. Could you just like not be there? 
Like, what if you were not? <sighs> Real sick of this headless dude. I know you can't hear me because you don't have a head, but go away. Nobody likes you. You're mean. You hurt people. Do you guys think that worked? <laughs> you think he's gone now? I, I actually think we might have to go up to him and trigger his movement because that's where we need to be. I'm I'm about 90% sure that's where I need to be. So I don't really know why his movement hasn't been triggered yet, but it's it I don't like it either way. Or maybe he wasn't supposed to be there yet. God damn it. Mm. God, the tension in those parts is rough, dude. When you're waiting for those doors to open and, like, you know he's going to hit you. Ugh. Ugh. Spooky. I need a boat. Anybody got a boat? What happens if I jump in the water? I die. I can't swim. I assumed that would be what would happen, but I thought I'd try. Can't pick that up. <gasps> Platforming. Ow, I just donked myself right on the head. All right, well, this doesn't appear to be any more helpful. Um, okay. I feel like I need to go over there, but I don't know how. Maybe up? Oh, I'm stuck. Made it. Sneak. All right. All right. Careful. All right. Here we go. Okay. I was about to say, I have found none of these. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'll have to look at that in a minute. Sorry, I got a, a message about work stuff. All right, so we got to find this code now. Ah, oh, fuck! I knew that stuff in the house would mean something. Damn it. Damn it all to hell.
What was that? What happened? Is this just a scary sound? Hey, what's up, Truy? How are you doing, friend? Uh, okay, so maybe... Oh, wait a minute. We're in... Are we in that weird world again? Or was that not supposed to float like that? I'm not sure, to be honest. So maybe, all right, those are above each other, so I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Just went for a walk in the forest? Nice. That sounds like a nice, relaxing morning. How was that? All right, I'm sorry. I'm really confused by what I'm reading, and it's going to bother me. I don't know. I'll have to ask after I get done. Besides the fact that it's 6 p.m. here, it was good. <laughs> That's right. I forgot you are not in the same time zone as me, even a little bit. Well, either way, I'm glad that it was a uh, a nice walk for you. I haven't gone on like a, a good long walk in a, in, a, in a long time now. All right, so there's another one. I'm hungry, I bet. What's for dinner? Where is that first room? Oh, it's back up these stairs, isn't it? That's right. Because we snuck out of this. Oh, that was just thunder. The weather's getting bad. We got a storm rolling in on this island. Alright, so that was another one. Nudes, nice. Alright, so that's three. the hell was that sound? <sighs> it's just getting scarier. I don't want it to get scarier. I want it to get nicer. <laughs> uh, was there one in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, dude. Could these... Uh, we're gonna snap a photo of them just in case. So, yeah. Um, here we go. Yeah. So, true, we were playing a game called Horror Tales of the Wine. Uh, I'm very... A little confused by the story right now still, but we're figuring it out. Uh, lots of puzzles. Some pretty good jump scares. Looks scary. Uh, it's, 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 it's spooky. Um, I would say yes. It's definitely pretty spooky so far. Uh, basically the idea is that there has been a, uh, a pandemic. I don't know if that's one or not, so I'm going to take a photo of it. I'm just taking pictures of everything that looks like it might be a clue at this point, to be honest with you guys. Bro, what is that music? No, don't play scarier music. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so the uh, the idea is there's a pandemic that's happening, and on this island, there's a very, very wealthy family who owns a winery and makes some of the best wine in the world. Um, and there are rumors that say if you find some of their red wine, uh, you can use it to cure the sickness 
of loved ones. Uh, is this the right staircase? Yeah. So we are trying to find a bot. We, we snuck over here. We're not allowed to be on this island. Uh, we snuck over here and we are trying to find a bottle of the wine to save a loved one, essentially. Um, but there's... The island is not necessarily empty, it seems. Alright. Upside down triangle doesn't exist. Q exists. It has an upside down triangle under it. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Shoot. This is not great, guys. Okay. Circle. Alright, so we're missing this triangle. But I think we can just trial and error it. So there are things on the island where people are hunting this family. Or they were hunting them. Uh, I'm going to assume that the whole family is dead at this point. Uh, based on the fact that I have found headless people chasing me and uh, skeletons. <gasps> Kitty cat! Uh, but th I think the people on the island were blaming the family for causing this sickness. Oh, fuck me. We probably just walked straight into a goddamn jump scare. Um... So I think that's why they were, like, hunting them to kill them. But that makes me wonder, like, is this wine that we're looking for actually their blood? Uh, you know what? Was there a wall back here we could break and I missed it? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so that makes me think, like, maybe this wine is their blood. And it has, like the cure for it or something uh well it looks like there's another way to go i was just trying to go straight forward because i saw a kitty cat and i got very excited by the kitty cat uh so the uh the developer of this game actually did a really really cool thing um uh, you can find secrets in different areas by using photo mode where the fuck do we go, y'all? Okay, well, now I'm not entirely sure why we opened this door. Uh, so, yeah, you can use photo mode to find secrets. And uh, they are, so far, they have been pictures of his cats, which I think is really cool. It, okay, I've got to do something down here, right? Because I can't... Oh. Do we have to make this jump? Hey, yo, look at me. I figured it out. And then scary stuff happened. Oh, I'll get a good drink of coffee before we go forward. Oh, I think I understand. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I was I got a message about some work stuff, and there was an abbreviation, and I was like, what is this abbreviation? And it's been, like, stuck in my mind, and I was just like, what the heck? Uh. Oh, dude, I don't like this. I can't crouch. I can't run. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Something scary is going to happen, isn't it? Ah! Okay. Whew. Whew. Not a fan of this loop. Last time there was a loop, we got chased. Dude, what? 
Oh, my God. The transitions from area to area is so wild. One person made this game. That's so freaking cool, dude. I want to make cool stuff. Look at all this snow. The blood ocean. I know it's wine, but I like to call it the blood ocean because I think it sounds cooler. Yeah, um... Tree, thanks for stopping by. I... Oh, I can't run! This is BS! I'm sorry, I was trying to thank you for coming by, and now I'm upset. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a really long time, so it's good to hear from you. I've been seeing a lot of your videos and stuff on YouTube, and uh, I think you're a kicking butt. But I will scream at you. All right, that's it. Boy. All right, well, I've played enough Halo to know what to do with an item that makes you move slower that you need to get quickly to another area. So we will be juggling this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I, I have, like, a few of them that I haven't watched yet, but I, like, I was talking about this the other day with someone that, like, I have no idea what I want to make for YouTube videos, and then I see that, and I'm like, this is exactly what I should be making. These are so cool. <laughs> and then I just never do it. Then I got photos back from the photographer for an event several weeks ago, and meh? Really? They're not good? What's wrong with them? Like, some of them are really nice, but most of them are stuff I can pull off, lol. That's not good. What was the event? Alright, let's get his bitch ass over here. In our awards banquet? Oh, yeah, that's one you need good photos from. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, no! It spawned me right in front of him! Shit! Ah. Well, I mean, at least now you know, like, next time you could probably just do them yourself. Framing's just not there on a lot of them. That sucks, dude. Which is fine, but I expect them to get turned over that that, that would be fixed. Yeah, like you probably they could have fixed that. Alright guys, give me just a second here, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus a little bit. Suck a butt.
I love this strategy. What? Just run away for a little while? Bro, how did I get that first try? I couldn't do that again if I had to. Yeah, like I was saying, man, I've played enough Halo to know how to uh, get an item across the map that... Oh, fuck that! That's cheating! He cheated! You can't do that! You can't be a ghost! Ooh, God, that was, oh. All right, all right, let's take a, let's take a small, small second here. Drink a little bit of water. Very nice, very nice. God, dude, that, like, jump back over was pretty, pretty scary. But yeah, man. That's the strategy, getting that flag across the map in Halo. Throw it, catch it. Throw it, catch it. Throw it, catch it. You gotta juggle it all the way. Make me move slower with an item in my hand. Take that, Carlos. I figured out a way to do it. I broke your system. Now I'm lost. Second sea of wine cleared. Yeah, baby. Uh, do I have a save? No, I just have to trust the auto save that I haven't seen pop up yet. Hey, fuck you. Think you heard me? Seems like such a weird thing to do in a shooter since you typically can't do anything else like shoot back when you have the flag. Yeah, that's why that's part of the, uh, like, that's why it's part of the strategy. You move slower and you can't do anything while you have it. Uh, so you just throw it and then catch it. Oh, the slower movement? Well, it depends. Like, I think in... B before there was sprint, I don't, I don't really remember that it ex it it did a lot for your speed, but like just a, just a little bit. But like you would, you could also throw it really far in front of you, so you could fight back and shoot and melee or whatever you need to do. Oh fuck me, I missed the jump because I'm just stupid, dude. We really need that flashlight. All right, so that's going to move later, I assume. Yep. Yeah, flag juggling, dude. That's where it's at. Cause in, like, in Halo 5 too, um, not Halo 5 too, but Halo 5 also, excuse me, that the way I said that was really stupid, I'm sorry. Um you get a you get a pistol. Like you get a, a small pistol while you are um while you have that in your hands. And uh where the fuck what does that do? Like while you have the flag, you have a magnum. And you can fight with it, and it works fine. But, like, getting that across the map is so much more important and what you really want to be doing. All right, I see what we need to do. Yo, what's up, Fishhook FPC? How you doing, man? I played the speed, speed flag mode where the carrier gets extra speed. You want that movement handicap. Yeah. Huh? 
Rebel. Good man, just woke up. Maintenance had to do some work. Otherwise, I'd probably still be asleep. Well, vacation life, baby. Jealous of that vacation life, bro. Yeah, see, there's another dead dude. I think this whole family got murdered. I think this whole family dead as hell. What kind of work they have to do now? Are they still fixing your, uh, your leaking stuff? Fucking... All right, we have to get the flashlight soon, right? Every area we've come to now is like pitch black. Locked from the other side. That's probably not good. To all the residents who wish to use the underground shortcut to the main square, the passageway suffers from imminent power outages, uh, the reason for which is still unknown. Those who don't know the passageway well should avoid using it, since without power, the corridor turns into total darkness. On another note, the resident living in the upper penthouse is suffering from strange fevers. This does not have any connection with the winery fevers, but for your safety, please uh, leave your homes as little as possible. Yep, so we gotta get that flashlight, right? Like, it's gotta be around here. Uh, the leak is fixed. They're working on cleaning up any potential mold spots. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Good, dude. I'm glad they're getting that stuff taken care of. I'm so glad you have a better, like, management now. That's, like, actually doing something. Dude, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Um... It still took them like a month to figure it out, but yeah, that thing, fuck. Yeah, and like, if, if they're trying to figure it out, that's one thing, you know? Like, they're working on it and actively trying to figure out what to do, that's one thing. But if it's just like, I don't fucking know, dude, I guess just like, deal with it, that's another. Uh, Alright, fines for property owners who do not properly maintain their structures. Alright, HOA. Uh, as part of the new economic plan, the government has decided to fine owners of buildings and properties uh, with facades facing the public street that present an undesirable appearance. These owners will have a period of a, a period of two weeks to repair any problems with their structures. If left unrepaired, fines will be issued. If repairs are still not made, the property will be seized. Jesus. The governor wanted to personally explain these new urban policies uh, in a press conference where no questions were taken. He stated that the island's economy is heavily dependent on wine exportation. He clarified that this was not a criticism of the Banny family. However, he feels that the capital needs to uh, find new ways of generating income, and tourism is one of them. Therefore, he explained that if we want tourists to come here from other parts of the republic, we must keep the appearance of our buildings impeccable. All right, well, it sounds like you need to spend money to make money then, bud. You come fix my fucking house. Oh, I was hoping I would land on him and break all of these. Is that our flashlight? That's the flashlight. I kind of don't want it, though, because then I feel like it's going to get dark. Uh, now it's even spookier. Uh, fish hook. I forgot to tell you, dude. I know you don't have Twitter now. Um, but I posted our clip a couple times and sent it as, uh, one of, as like, forget who it was. 
somebody involved in working on on Halo tweeted uh, like, "Hey, show me some of your favorite moments from the technical preview," and that was the one I sent him. Didn't send him my sick no scope. Didn't send him nothing else. Just our amazing teamwork. Fuck you, box. The one where the guy just dies. Oh, fucking god damn it. Dude, why? The lantern overheats. The lantern overheats. We get stamina tired. Why? Why? Ah. No. Uh, so there was a clip, actually, that is just, like, legitimately good teamwork between the two of us. Uh... Like, we're using call-outs to say, oh, this guy's one shot over here, he's weak over here, and uh, we come together to get the last few kills. Uh, and I just liked it, because, like, F- I, uh, Fishhook's not usually a shooter player, so, like, to get him using call-outs and, uh, like, knowing what to do and stuff like that was really cool to me. Like, that, because you guys know shooters, like, Halo especially is, like, my freaking jam, dude. You know what I mean? All right, well, we're going to wait right here, then. So it was cool to, like, you know, have someone who doesn't normally play games in that way, like that, doing it. I was like, yeah, this is what's up, dude. I want to read this. If you're reading this message, then you're a resident of the Upper Flats. Due to the terrible situation, the city now suffers from the commonly called Devil's Fevers. We had no choice but to seal off the Upper Flats and force residents to stay in their homes. Perhaps if the young man in Room B hadn't spent his time with certain people, you wouldn't be confined with no way to go outside. All the neighbors wish the sick a speedy recovery. Please understand we're all... You're all fearful, so if you need food or water, or we won't be able to help you. <laughs> Those of us who are still healthy wish you all the best, and please remember that we should all behave in a peaceful, civil manner. Community president. Sounds like an HOA president. For the attention of the young single man who lives in this flat, the community organization has received complaints of noises and shrieking at all hours of the night and during the day. This situation cannot continue. Your neighbors have to work long hours in the vineyards and therefore need their rest. If the shouting and noises continue by tomorrow, we'll be forced to notify the authorities. We remind you that if the authorities find any kind of illegal drugs in your home, you will be evicted. Who done? All done? Nice, dude. Glad that's over for you. Meetings suck. All right, which door does this go to? Oh, fuck, we go this way. Another one at two, unfortunately. Lol. Rip. Rip Rip-a-roni. Let's see. Oh, sorry. I thought I turned off the captions. I want to make sure I didn't. Well, that sucks, dude. What's the one at two? Is, is that another one that isn't your client or your problem or something that you know about and they're still just kind of like, I don't know, dude, figure it out. Like, we'll throw Rab on this one and I'm sure he can do it. You know, like everything else. Is actually my client, but it's the internal pre-meeting. Okay, so that's uh, it's not as bad then. Like, it's not great still, but it, it could be worse. Um. Okay, so there were two doors that needed a key. I'm going to try this one first. No, that's locked from the other side. Shoot. 
So I think it's this one. Fuck. One more. <laughs> Ugh, this building sucks. I have to play some OGT, so I have to log into the VPN. Hopefully it doesn't fuck up my Twitch feed, lol. I mean, at least if it does, like, you're on your Wi-Fi at home. Like, you're you're still on your internet at home. You could pull it up on, like, your iPad or something. All right, let's step back out into the lit area and turn off the torch for a second so it can recharge or cool off. I think it said it's overheating. This is the weirdest building. Who built this? Fuck. Um, okay. Oh, dude, no. Come on. I don't know if you can see in the dark. Yep. I don't know why we can't punch back. Like, all he's doing is hitting me. Like, we have fists. Just, like, hit him in the ribs a couple times. What's wrong with you? I say you he did. Bro, this area sucks. Shit. Does anyone see anything other than triangles? Like, I have no idea what this code is supposed to be. I have no fucking clue. Is there something up here, maybe, that gives a clue? No. All right, new plan. Alright, 
right, well, you can't jump over it. You're locked into that animation. Mmm. Just a second, guys. I'm going to check something. Don't think I have it. Nope. Let me don't shut the fuck up, Adobe. I have the press kit for this game, and sometimes there's, like, puzzle answers in those. There's not in this one, though. All right. Are we stuck? Because, like, I'm not crazy, right? Like, in that in that, that room that we fall into, there's just triangles on the wall. Like, there's nothing actually giving me the puzzle answers. Oh wait, there's one. What? Why am I moving so slow? Fuck off. Punch him back. a pretty good clip what punch him back <laughs> the halo one oh yeah right
Call him. What's the third one? <laughs> like, take it easy and use the hole? I was. I'm trying to find all the clues is the hard part right now. I've got two of them. Ow. Stop. Telling you, dude, punch him back. Historical Squid, thank you for the raid, my friend. Everyone coming in from Historical Squid stream, welcome in. My name is MPI Creates, or MPI for short, if you prefer. Whichever one is fine. Uh, we are playing a horror game today. Uh, we play a lot of horror games here. We play a lot of story stuff. We play a lot of Dead by Daylight. Oh, why? What? Uh-oh. Shoot. Uh, I'm really sorry, you guys. I will give a better introduction here in a second when I'm not being chased. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, we play a lot of uh, horror stuff here. We play a lot of story-based games. We try to have fun. Uh, we also make this a good and safe place to uh, talk about mental health. So if you need to discuss those things, if you need resources, if you have questions about mental health, anything, we're here to have those conversations with you. So please feel free to vent, chat, whatever you need to do. Uh, let me catch up on chat a little bit here. Squid, you're going to step away for just a second, okay. Stitchy, hello, how are you today, friend? MDK uh, Zilla and... Radico, thank you both for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. Oh man, dude, the stamina thing is getting me. Can I actually jump in this water or will it kill me? The other water I jumped in killed me. All right, that's where we're supposed to go, thank God. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, yeah, uh, there we go. Now we're at kind of a stopping point. We can talk a little bit more. Yeah, again, Historical Squid, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. If we didn't already, can we get a shout-out for Historical Squid? Uh, I met Squid last year when I was working with Stack Up, uh, and they did a pretty sweet charity stream for them, and they're another channel who cares about mental health and wants that to be, you know, important to people because it matters. But yeah, guys, that's me. That's what we do here. Welcome in. Uh, I stream Sunday nights. We do multiplayer nights. And then Wednesdays and Thursdays right now, we play something from 9 a.m. Central to 12 p.m. Central. So we are actually getting kind of close to the end of the stream for the day. Um, working on figuring out, trying to maybe do like a dedicated Dead by Daylight day. But I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. So we'll figure it out eventually, hopefully. Uh, let's get out of this cutscene. And then we will... Uh, We'll, we'll back out and we're going to start looking for somebody to raid ourselves. Uh, with your last ounce of strength, you swim to the water's edge. Once you regain your composure, you realize that everything is completely silent. No sign of your pursuer. Thank God. That guy's scary. Uh, you lost your lantern in the water. 
Your head is still hurting, so you decide to rest a few minutes by the water. The pain is unbearable. Little by little, you get up and decide to keep going. Slums are located on both sides of the river that runs through the capital. When the devil's fevers began, mandatory confinement. I missed a little bit of that, but I think I got the gist of it. <gasps> That's the gun guy. Alright, we're gonna take a picture of him real quick. A little bit of vignette. Yeah, we'll go we'll go natural on this one. I don't wanna be too contrasty, but we'll get a little bit. I really like the photo mode in this game. It's fun. Um, Carlos, since you're here really quick, can you, was that like the point that we were at just now, was that a safe point? Probably like I'm okay to exit and we won't lose progress because I haven't seen anything pop up that says it's saving and I don't have like an, a manual save button that I can find. All right, you guys, I'm going to start looking for somebody to raid real fast. Let's see. Got a couple places we might go here. Let me pull these up and make sure that these people are actually still streaming. And that it's not, you know, one of those situations where Twitch says they're still live when they're really not. Because that happens to me a lot. <laughs> All right, so they're on a be right back screen. All right, yeah, I see where we're going to go. All right, you guys, so uh, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. It was a fun day. This game's fun. It's scary, but it's fun. Uh, so we'll be back next week with more of this but this sunday we will be playing sea of thieves uh to do the next tall tale in the pirates campaign and then uh the uh, the plan i believe is hopefully to have enough folks um in the crew that want to do the back for blood beta because it is this weekend and i think it'll be ending around then so i would like to get a little bit more time in with that because i i liked what i was seeing but it just wasn't quite perfect yet, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to see what they've changed since the alpha. Uh, but we'll be back. That is going to be Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then next Wednesday, we'll pick up where we left off with Horror Tales and see if we can't finish it uh, on Wednesday. So, guys, uh, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. I will see you all in Discord, hopefully, and um, around. If not, I will see you on Sunday for some more Sea of Thieves. Uh, guys, we're going to go raid Matt Calder. They are playing the new Pokemon Snap game. Uh, Matt is another uh, really, really kind person on Twitch, really cares about mental health, and uses their uh, channel and their community to, to promote and talk about that stuff. So y'all go hang out with Matt. Be kind. And uh, I will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.